Hi, my name is Eloise and I'm a second year PhD student in Applied Maths at Imperial College London. Now you might say, PhD, that's impressive, but what does a PhD student even get up to all day? Well, I'm here to take you along for a week in my life and show you what I get up to day to day. Now, it's currently Sunday night. Um, I've had a really nice restful weekend, um, but I think I've got a really nice busy week plan to show you. So here we go. First thing I normally do after waking up is have breakfast, but this morning I felt inspired to do some exercise before my day in the office. I was never much of a gym girl, preferring to run outside, but you know, new year, new ways. After a spin and some stretching, I got back for some breakfast while checking my email and doing a bit of admin to wait for off-peak tube times, as it's much cheaper and way less busy. The flexibility of the PhD is one of the things I like most about it. Although I generally try to keep a Monday to Friday schedule and not to work too late. On office days, I usually arrive sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. Every day I check my Notion to-do list to see what tasks I should prioritise and what I feel like doing that day. I find this works best for me as a middle ground between no organisation and time blocking every single minute of my day. I usually start the week by checking on simulations that I had running over the weekend and doing any relevant follow-up analysis. Recently I've also been working on a side project with a couple other PhD students in my group. This morning we were just going through some equations together and making a plan for the next steps. In my PhD I work alone most of the time so it's been nice to collaborate on some projects recently. I've had a bad habit recently of eating at my desk and working through lunch, although I usually justify this as then I can leave earlier. After my post-lunch caffeine boost, I spent the rest of the afternoon coding. Today, I was trying to implement a new nearest neighbours algorithm into my code. One of the big perks of having a top floor office are the great views and the amazing sunsets that you get on a sunny day. the day I review and update my weekly to-do list before shutting down all my windows so my computer can have rest. On Mondays I started going to the social salsa classes with the Imperial Dance Club, which are a lot of fun. Me and my office mate head down there around 6pm to have fun and dance with others for an hour. Even when I'm tired, I always feel better after moving around for a while. Finally, it's time to head home on the tube. Luckily today, I had some risotto from the weekend to reheat for dinner as I was starving. I usually watch some videos or chat with my flatmates over dinner. Then finally, I get into my comfy clothes and beds to catch up on YouTube or a TV series. I generally work from home one to two days per week, but this varies a lot depending on my mood and energy that week. First thing, I caught up on my emails, then got a bit distracted by personal emails and some other admin tasks. And I was generally a bit distracted in the morning, but I did get some work done. So I'm still figuring out a few bugs, um, but I've made some progress. Um, my code is running significantly faster just for a really small change, actually. Just by moving this line of code outside the loop, I'm saving so much time, like a hundred times time saving, which is good. I did a bit of less taxing work while digesting my lunch before heading out for a walk and jog, 
for some exercise and to test my knee. It's cold, but I'm glad I got out. It's muddy, but if I'm to run on soft ground, I'm just gonna have to get a bit dirty. It was nice to get out, but it was really muddy. Once I got back, I settled into my late afternoon work block. I often get some really good work done during this time on days when I work from home, which is why I let myself take a longer lunch break. So one of my favourite playlists is called Pancake Day, and today is actually Pancake Day, so now I finally feel justified uh, listening to it while I'm working. During this time, I went through various stages of debugging, but decided to call it a day at 6pm as I'd made some progress and wasn't getting any further today. Later in the evening, we were invited to Pancake Day celebrations with the neighbours in the flat upstairs who we've made friends with. This was really nice um, with some great company and great food. I wasn't feeling very well the next day, so I let myself have an easy morning preparing my meeting notes at home and went into campus for my supervision meeting. These meetings are usually once a week for an hour or so, where I go through my work from the past week with my supervisor to help guide me for the coming week. In the afternoon, I got on with coding and running some more simulations. I stayed in for one more meeting, but was getting pretty tired by this point, so headed home afterwards. I usually aim for seven hours of work, excluding any long breaks. I didn't quite do as many hours today, but did longer on Monday to compensate. And plus, there's no point in forcing work when you don't have the energy or focus for it. That evening, I had to make a dish for a work dinner party later in the week. So I made double portions of quiche for dinner and another one to keep in the fridge. Now that's as much as I filmed this week, as I did end up coming down with a cold. So the rest of the week wasn't very interesting, as I mainly stayed at home and worked shorter days. But I hope you enjoyed seeing a few days in the life of me as a PhD student, and thanks for watching.